what we're basically looking at here would be the side view of a concrete footing. Um, so if we just went up to a house and sliced the footing in half and got a section of it, this is basically what it would represent. Now, here's the problem, and I run into it a little more than I would like to, and that would be the minimum embedment for an anchor bolt in a concrete footing. I'm just going to kind of zoom ahead here to show you what I'm talking about. A lot of times I'll see anchor bolts that stick out about three to four inches, and you can see right here, these are sticking out quite a ways. Now, this is a hold down bolt here. You can see the hold down. And um, this actually could be a little higher um, than it should have been. And, uh, you know, it should have been probably at least two inches lower. And this could be out of the minimum embedment for um, the hold down. So let's just say that the minimum embedment for this particular hold down is um, 14 inches. And in order to have a f the 14 inch embedment, the, the it should break right about here let's say um, at the top of the plate and uh, to where you could have a nut that would screw down with about three or four threads showing so something like this and again I might not be making myself really clear here but whenever I see anchor bolts sticking out of the top of the footings or the foundation it I'm, I'm always thinking oh did, did somebody ma make a mistake here is there a problem and of course this would this would have to be a red flag for inspectors also so let's go ahead and go back to the side view here and again let's just say that the minimum embedment for an anchor bolt is seven inches and you have 10 inch anchor bolts then you're, that means you're only going to be able to have three inches sticking up here. Now, if I had a seven inch embedment, minimum embedment, and I knew that they use 10 inch anchor bolts, but the anchor bolt here is sticking out about uh, three inches, I know that I'm not going to be meeting this minimum embedment here. And this isn't uncommon. But I would also like to point out that sometimes when you, a builder, someone who works with concrete a lot, will actually, if they have a seven inch embedment and they've had problems before with their anchor bolts, they will actually get longer anchor bolts. So let's just say that they get 14 inch anchor bolts, 14 inch long anchor bolts. And when you see something like this, that wouldn't be a problem because they would still be embedded in the right height just for the fact that they are longer so um, it, but but at the same time that that would also mean that the concrete um, footing and foundation contractor would have needed to spend a little more money on something like this but again that could be a benefit if they've had problems with them in the past now here is a problem you could run into let's just say that for whatever reason these anchor bolts got got uh, sucked into the foundation while they were pouring it and you don't have enough room you know maybe these things are sticking up an inch and a half or um, three quarters of an inch and you're not going to be able to put the plate on there and the nut let alone a washer and uh, make this thing work and again I've seen this happen a lot um, as the person who's installing these plates and uh, attaching the nuts to, I've seen this happen a lot more than I would like to. And I think a lot of that goes back to um, the fact that some of the people working on the foundation um, don't really know about this minimum embedment or have uh, created some type of a problem to where these are not properly positioned. One more thing I would like to point out, and again, this is coming from my years of experience as working with uh, footings, anchor bolts, uh, and concrete would be the rebar. There are going to be times, and this is, this is common, to where you will actually attach the rebar to the anchor bolts. And, um, and, and you can have them on the, the little hold downs. You know, they make little hold downs that'll hold them in place. Um, while you're pouring, I've actually seen the rebar 
as they're pouring the concrete, pumping it in, I've actually seen the rebar get pushed into, it'll actually get pushed down into the um, footing, pulling the anchor bolts with them and creating this problem here also. So I've actually seen and had to do it myself. I've actually had to unclip the, um, the anchor bolts from the rebar. I've had to cut them loose in order to pull them up because I can't move the rebar. You know, it's the concrete's already setting up or it's, it's, um, it's something I might have caught a little too late, which realistically would have meant that the concrete would have been setting up already. So keep this in mind. There is a minimum embedment for anchor bolts. Find out what it is and make sure that if you are going to have um, anchor bolts sticking up two or three inches because you're worried about this problem here. You're worried about the anchor bolt sinking in and, and you not being able to do nothing about it after the concrete is poured, then um, just make sure that you have a long enough anchor bolts to meet the minimum embedment requirement. So again, this right here is a red flag to me. I hate to see it in the um, as a framer, I like to see them in where they should be all the time instead of sticking out three or four inches. And, of course, it's a pain in the butt to uh, screw these things in. Sometimes you're using an impact wrench, and you can't get uh, – you can only go down to a certain point, and then you got to hand tighten the rest of it. So this just isn't a win-win situation. Um, you know, get them where they need to be and keep an eye on them. Make sure that they – don't get sucked into the concrete while they while you're pouring the footings, um, and at the same time, time like I said, make sure um, that you understand the minimum embedment requirement. Uh, it should be on the blueprints. If it isn't, uh, contact the structural engineer for more information.